Hey guys, how are you doing? I uh, wanted to take advantage of that opportunity of those uh, few empty um, moments that I found to share something with you. Wanted to take advantage of this short time in this lifetime. It's uh, almost impossible really really to find uh, a good use for time time is short and running like uh, wild horses Rabbi Nachman of Breslev once said that he had a dream and he saw black horses running and white horses running and then he interpreted that dream as the day and the night that are running very fast and disappearing from uh, from your eyes and um, wanted to use those few minutes to tell you something about prayer. I know that many of us um, are willing to dedicate our lives to this amazing and noble thing that is called tefillah, prayer, and wanted to share um, a certain understanding that I have about the way we should pray and today I wanted to discuss the way we pray um, from the Siddur book, from the book of prayer. There are certain parts in the prayer that we're not allowed to repeat. For an example, the blessings. If you want to say Baruch Atah and then to say, to mention the name of Hashem, Baruch Atah Hashem Elkeinu, Melech um, Olam, that is a blessing. Or when we say Baruch Atah Hashem, Gal Israel, or all those blessings that we're saying, on those words we are not allowed to repeat. You cannot say the same blessing few times, one after the other, because the second one will be considered a prayer that been sent for no cause, for no reason and that is a violation but all the rest of the prayer except of those parts that are blessings we allow to repeat and this is something that i found very very useful um, in my prayer that for me um, because of life because of um, thoughts that are washing us like the rivers of the sea because of a noise that can distract the thoughts of a person from prayer. Many times we find ourselves that we're praying with not uh, having a heart aimed um, with the right intention that we would hope to have while praying to the Creator, while asking all those amazing requests so I found that to repeat a certain verse or a certain word that is meaningful for me, for us, is very useful. I find myself that I'm able to aim my heart more and to bring more of my inner power, of my soul, of my passion, of my holy desire for the, for the prayer to be answered when I'm repeating um, the same word or the same sentence or verse many times so for an example when you pray let's say you want to say Refa'enu Hashem v'nerafe, heal us the creator and we will be healed so instead of just saying it once Refa'enu Hashem v'nerafe, you can repeat that verse one time you can think about your father may Hashem give him long life second time you can say the same sentence but to think about your mother that Hashem will give her long life Refa'enu Hashem v'nerafe you're thinking about him Refa'enu Hashem v'nerafe and you're thinking about her and then you can think about all of us Refa'enu Hashem v'nerafe all of us in your mind those intentions Refa'enu Hashem v'nerafe you can think about yourself about your spouse about your children you can think deeper and deeper with those thoughts on all the nation of Israel. You can aim for the whole wide world, for 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 larger 
ranges, ranges, range, wider circles of, of people that you know, that you assume, that you think that might use and enjoy that health that you're praying for. And also on the same person or on yourself, you can aim so many times. May we be healed. And again and say like mentally and physically and spiritually and emotionally and for those th kind of, of illnesses and for those kind of weaknesses and for those kind of 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 of, of darknesses and just to be healed from our fears, to be healed from our sadness, to be healed from our impurities, to be healed from all of our physical pains and, and our laziness. And every time you can repeat those words. And not only, you can in the next line say, redeemed us and we will be redeemed, save us and we will be saved. You can say that word, those words, that line, again and again. That we will be redeemed physically, that we will redeem, be redeemed mentally, that we will be redeemed financially, that we will be redeemed as as, as the society, as a community, as a family, as a nation, as, as human race, as the children of yours, like you can aim, you can put your heart and when you repeat those lines, those requests, those prayers, it can be in the verses or lines that are talking about tshuva, it can be requests, it can be praises to the Creator, it can be whenever you feel inspired, that's where you need to put your heart and to aim your power into that line, into that prayer, and just to keep on carving your way to the desirable goal of your prayer to be answered. I found it and keep on finding it very, very useful. I remember a few times in prayer of Shemona Esre, I was standing more than three hours repeating the same line, the same lines, just f f catching every line and repeating it over and over and asking Hashem, Sfatai Tiftach, Sfatai Tiftach, Sfatai Tiftach, open my lips, open my lips, open my lips that my prayer will come out clearly that my prayer will be answered by you, that my prayer will open the gates of mercy, that my prayer will be, be will be heard in the right places, that my prayer will be decent and, and acceptable by you. Those are all intentions that you can aim with your thoughts. This is why in the end of Shmona Esra we're saying this wonderful verse. We're asking from Hashem. May you please, may it be your will that you will take the words that came out of my mouth and also the logic of my heart, that you will accept my words and my intentions. Okay? So now with a pure heart and a wishing soul, I'm going to go to pray Arvit. And you're going to do whatever you like. Don't eat too much ice cream before you go to sleep that your stomach won't ache. And may the Creator bless you and wake you up in the morning with a happy heart, a wishing soul, and all your prayers been answered already. Amen. The world does not exist. Because Olam Milchon Elem, the world is just blocking the light of truth. The world called Alma de Shika, world of life, is just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. It's just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion.